Hey everyone, and welcome to World of Tanks with Techno. Today we've got a video by Sukti Now. Uh, I think I pronounced that correctly. Anyway, this is a replay that was sent to me. He's uh, on the North America server, and he's playing in his grill. We're on the Wide Park map, and the battle type is Standard Battle. Now, in general, with the artillery, um, which I am not good at, go ahead and get that <laughs> out there now, um, which is maybe why I found this to be so impressive, um, it's not generally a, a happy time when you get a city map. So uh, that's another reason I thought the video was pretty nice and uh, that he did so well on a city map is just a, another reason I decided to put this up on my channel. Um, if you do have replays and you think they're good and you'd like me to uh, look at them and see if I can put them up on my channel, please you know, feel free to leave a comment on my discussion page and I can try to uh, hook up with you there and, and get that uh, information on where you can send the replay to. Um, anyway, as we can see here, Sukti now is taking up a position up north. It's given him a decent uh, field of view here. Early on, he does take a couple shots here that don't hit anybody, which is pretty much my whole experience with artillery. So, par for the course for me, but uh, not for Sukti now. And so what he's going to do here is he's just following this M36, sorry, M37 around here, gets a reload and manages to slip Keep a shell right shot. by that tower and in between the building and the tower there, which is a pretty nice shot. So early on here, he's able to take out the enemy artillery. He's following this T14, which in a tier 5 game like this, T14s are pretty strong, so we do want to target that and get it out of the game, so there's just one less uh, really strong enemy tank there. He's managed to put a pretty decent 253 shot in to that T14. Puts him down on pretty low health, and he pretty much assumes at that point that the rest of the enemy team can take care of that guy, uh, which they do. He notices a full health T14, so he's going to go ahead and try to start knocking some health off of this guy. And just as he finally gets his shell back in the gun, the T14 driver pulls back. Good move on his part, but um, leaves Sukti now with not quite a, a good shot on him, so he gets to live for a little bit longer. Um, just then, they spot a uh, Chi Nu on the other side, but the uh, sorry Chi Ni on the other side, but the Lee takes him out as well. So at this point, the game's looking pretty good. Uh, it's 10-5 uh, in favor of Sukti Nao's team, and uh, really they should have this in the bag. And they're capping. And if you're uh, watching this video and you're wondering why I put it up on the uh, on the channel here, just you know, hang in a little longer here. It does uh, it does get pretty exciting at the end, so uh, bear with it here. All right, so we have a KV-1 moving up. KV-1, a very very strong tank, especially in a tier five game like this. Um, I believe he's using the short barreled 122, which is. Yeah, you know, it's it's great if you can pin, but if you're not pinning, you're not doing damage. So, um, he does see the bigger threat here, which is the T-49. Nice, thin-skinned vehicle with a high damage gun, so we want to remove him as quickly as possible. And, yeah, great shot right through kind of the rubble there, right into the side, pinning the T-49 for pretty much max damage on that shot. So, really, really nice shot there to take the T-49 out of the game. And um, they do manage to kill the KV-1, the enemy uh, KV-1 that was moving into town there. But the uh, T-14 we had seen earlier is now kind of noticing that his team is it. falling apart, so he's moving into town. Uh, Sukti now also puts a nice round into the T-40. Good open top, thin skin vehicle, takes great damage from artillery. So uh, artillery players a lot of times will target those type of vehicles just because they they know they can do full damage. 
Alright, so 13-8. Uh, Only two enemies left. Should be in the bag. T-14, uh, driver that we saw earlier, has moved up to try to dispute the cap here. And uh, he is on f pretty much full health, so he is a pretty big threat at this point. However, we have our KV-1 right there with the short-barreled 122. That should be uh, putting some flanking shots in. Uh, I do have uh, it on two times speed right now, so if you're wondering why everybody's moving around a little quicker than they should be, that's why. Uh, this part, uh, Sukti now doesn't get to do a whole lot because it's building. The T14 player, I don't know if he did this consciously or not, but this was a, a fantastic place to set up his brawl here. Um, great artillery cover. So if you do play on this map in the future, keep in mind this is a great place. Uh, if you're trying to stay already safe, this is a good building to use for that. It's nice and tall. All right, well, so our KV-1 came in and uh, didn't do a whole lot against that T-14. Uh, you would think with the type of gun the KV-1 has, even firing HE, which he looked to be, he would have been able to do a little bit more damage to that T-14. Don't know if he was just aiming poorly and and not targeting weak spots to try to get the pin on that uh, HE round. But anyway, so the T-14 is able to take out pretty much the entire rest of the team. Sukti now puts a shot into his last lo known location, but these towers are really blocking his field of view, and uh, that's really preventing him from getting the shot he needs. So what he does is he go ahead and uh, packs up and moves over a little bit here. He's trying to get himself in a better position to take shots at the cap circle because he knows this Matilda should get some spots in. So he moves over so those uh, two towers there aren't blocking his field of view and starts setting up to put a shot in. Um, yep, and that one just didn't go where he aimed it. It was pretty much on the outside circle uh, of his aiming reticle there. But, you know, it's a Matilda against a T-14 unless the uh, T-14 is shooting gold, which he could have been. Um, you know, the Matilda is a pretty bouncy little tank, so um, we should be able to keep some spots on this. But it doesn't matter. Sixty now puts a great blind shot into the T-14. Uh, T-14 didn't move from his last location, so as soon as he got that around loaded back into the gun, he just fired at the last known location, and he was still there, and he went right in. It's a good, uh, another good thing to, to notice if you're a newer player. Um, if you're if you know the enemy's got some artillery and you know you're being spotted decently regularly, keep moving. You know, don't get in a location like that uh, T-14 did. So, um, all right, yeah, but we've got a full health Matilda. We're capping. All the enemy has left is a one-two-two. Uh, one-two-two obviously has a one-two-two, so it's a pretty big gun on a, a little small artillery. Yeah, and it's big enough to kill a Matilda from full health. Okay, well that changes everything. Uh, we've got an artillery battle left here. The enemy 122 driver obviously kind of knows what he's doing. He was able to uh, TD mode that Matilda for full health. And 60 now sees that, you know what, if he's gonna win this, he's gonna have to do it himself. So him and actually the Sexton 2 on his team also start moving up to try to uh, do a little TD action on the enemy artillery. Uh, Sukti now, uh, who put that building there? Sukti now moves up to try to see if he can flank around to the last known location of the 122. Um, however, we do know that the 122 seems to be pretty confident, so he probably has moved, um, which does appear to be the case. And, oh no. The 122 driver has slipped by both of them and is now capping the base. Uh, now this wouldn't be a problem if the sextant driver had actually started capping with Sukti now. But I um, don't know if he just wasn't paying attention, although with all the map pings going off you would think he would see something, but he um, immediately jets back to uh, the home base trying to TD the 122 I assume. Um, Sukti now takes advantage of that situation and sets up his uh, aiming reticle to try to put a round in. Oh, and it misses. And the 122 driver scores another hit in TD mode. And uh, it's, it's not looking good at this point.
So he's got four seconds left on the enemy cap, and he gets a hit. Yeah, blind fired again. Enemies not moving after they've been spotted with four seconds left. He saves the game. So really a great shot. Really a good game for Sukti now and his grill. Uh, Twenty nine thousand credits and thirty one hundred XP at tier five on a tier five arty, and he also got defender for that great um, save at the end there. 1,200 damage, 5 kills, just 1 kill short of a uh, top gun on the artillery there, which is pretty difficult to do. And uh, yeah, 84 base capture points himself, so just just 6 points shy of an invader, and then 98 defense points. He was 2 points away from finishing that cap, so uh, that was an amazing result. An amazing game. So uh, I'm not I'm not a huge arty player, but that was that was amazing in my book. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and uh, leave me some comments. And thanks for coming to my channel.